And a river went out of Eden to water the garden, and from thence it was parted, and became into four heads. The name of the first is Pison, and the name of the second river is Gihon, and the name of the third river is Tigris. That is it which goeth toward the east of Assyria. And the fourth river is Euphrates. And the Lord God took the man and put him into the garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. Our journey begins in the mountains of Armenia, where the Tigris and the Euphrates both rise. Fed by melting snow from the high plateaus, the rivers tumble down the mountain slopes, tearing away tons of silt as they go. They run parallel for over 2,000 kilometers, then merge to form the Shat al-Arab waterway. For nearly 5,000 years, the scorching sands of the Iraqi desert have held relics of the oldest known civilization, the Sumerian. Our world owes the Sumerians everything. They invented writing and the wheel. They divided time into minutes and seconds. They tamed nature and built gigantic cities. They loved culture and the arts. Their caravans crossed the desert, opening up the first trade routes. Their stories inspired our founding myths, and their memory lives on in the Old Testament. They wrote the history of the birth pangs of mankind. Yet 4,000 years ago, this brilliant civilization died out. For a long time, its very existence remained a mystery. But today, the desert sands are at last yielding some of the secrets of this fascinating civilization. This is a photograph at the excavation site of another ancient city not far from Ur. All of the various pots and jars and bowls were found in just one home. The Sumerians were among the first people to use the wheel in pottery making. Craftsmen were probably specialized. Some made pottery, others made statues. These figurines were placed in the temples. They give us an indication of how the Sumerians dressed and what they looked like. Some cities even had toy manufacturers. Working with clay, the Sumerians produced toys that resembled some of ours. Only the most skilled and gifted people were allowed to work in silver and bronze. Since precious metals aren't found in Mesopotamia, the silver in this bracelet probably came from northeastern Asia Minor. Although the Sumerians traded for certain materials, they relied on clay to make most things.
by 2300 BC, a people called the Semites had become dominant in the land of the Sumerians. By 1900 BC, Sumerians had been absorbed into the Semitic population. Then in 1750 BC, the people became part of a politically unified empire created by the Semitic King Hammurabi. The land became known as Babylonia, with its capital at Babylon.